Welcome of UFC Unlimited Fight Channel. All right, coming up next, a UFC featherweight division fight. Pretty much every time out in the UFC, DC, this man has put on a striking clinic, and that is his methodology coming in here tonight. He'll try to keep the fight on the field. And that's why we tune in, right? That's why we tune in. We tune in to see guys that are dynamic. We tune in for the speed. We tune in for the knowledge of the striking game, the ability to set traps, the ability to find the jab, the ability to find the right hand, the right kick, the left kick, the knees, the elbows. He truly uses every weapon that he has in his arsenal to try and finish his opponent. You make one mistake, night's over. You cannot make mistakes against a guy that has the striking acumen yep. of this guy right here. And the jab is not as underutilized a weapon as it was in MMA, say, five or seven years ago, but he's got as good a jab as anyone in the business, and that is where all of his striking flows off of. We'll see how it goes for him in this matchup tonight. Well, you can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, Jim. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem Abdul-Jabbar to stay undefeated. Right. If you could do that, you could do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 136 pounds. Fighting out of Laguna Hills, California, Big. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting at Los Angeles, California, USA, Bruce the Dragon Lee. Okay, guys, protect yourself at all time. Obey my command at all time. If you want to touch left, do it now. Go back to your corner. is concerned back in 2016. I mean, that place was insane when Conor McGregor became the UFC's double champion. From outside of the arena, they build up to the fight to end the arena when Conor became the king. This was a great moment in the world's greatest arena. Look, the best fights in history have happened here. And on that night, Conor McGregor etched his name in stone. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Throws the right hand there. Oh, combination lands, and it seemed like almost every strike found the target. There. He's so accurate when he decides to attack. It is a sight to behold. There you go, look for the shot. 
Oh, and there's a kick now to the body. That one blocked by Lee. Bleeding from his cheek now. Game of inches right Tell there, you. boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Lee gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. Hands high, hands high. Nice defense there. Huge block. He's got a serious right punch, and he went to it effectively there. It is his money shot, and he will continue to throw it until he finds a knockout. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. Superman punch. Under three minutes now to go in round one. Nice strike. Oh, nice job to land the knee there by the taller fighter, and... I think I just heard Daniel Cormier say, I wish I was a little bit tall. You're a ball ball, so. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Oh, he leads with a right punch there. So a little bit of deception now on the field. He's mixing it up, not letting his opponent find any pattern. Oh, that's a beautiful kick right there. I don't know if you've ever been kicked by a mule. It probably feels something like that. It has to. This guy has landed his kick with so much force. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Just over two minutes to go in round one. Let's go. Let's get the takedown. Oh, oh. Get inside on that leg kick. Ooh, jab left hook and went inside. Usually, you know, you see guys throw the outside kick there. That was nice. Oh, nice punch there by Lee. his hip into that kick. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Continues to attack that bloody cheek. His face is a mess. Well, they've made all the right reads here tonight, and there's another one. Beautiful read on the leg strike as he catches it and then returns fire with a punch of his own. So they have got the timing down here at this point of the fight. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Huge knee lands from the rope. Just a slip there. Man, this guy kicks like a mule. So hard. He kicks so hard every time you can see him drive his shin into his opponent. And he landed the right hand there. Oh, here comes the kick. That one blocked by Lee. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Pretty good right hand. Ten seconds to go. Good stick. I mean, he's cutting him down to size with his beautiful leg kick. Okay, stop! All right, let's check out some of the action now from that previous round, and he really kept finding a home for those kicks. Yeah, and why would you change it? If your opponent is not going to check, if he's going to stand there, and he's not on his toes, and he's stationary, you keep driving those kicks into his thighs, into his body, until he makes some sort of adjustment. All right, we'll see how it goes here in this next round. A high number of kicks landed there in the previous round, and at some point, these are gonna really start to take their turn. They do start to take an effect whenever you're taking kick after kick after kick, and watching him fight with that knowledge and that patience shows his fight IQ. Big Paul punch man. Now we get back to range. Keep your hands up. Come on, boys. He's very tricky when he throws that. 
that body kick. Big leg kick lands. What a great play of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high when his opponent thought he was going low. And now he's got him hurt very badly. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're going to have to put something on your opponent that's going to really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. Big punch land. Ooh. Connects now with the one, two. Right under the elbow, the body keep lands. Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand, just out of range. Punches and punches, punches and punches, let's go. Just over three minutes to go. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output, and starting to find his range here in the pocket. Caught that kick there. Leg kick, beautiful punch. with the head kick. What a kick by this young man. He does a great job of disguising that technique. And before you know it, boom, he lands. Got clip with the right hand. Got the single collar tie. And both guys really throwing with authority. Great punch. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Nice jab, follows it up with a nice right hand. Big kick lands. Oh, he lands the Superman punch. Sneaky head kick. Well, one got through, that kick was blocked. Lee's cut on his cheek is nasty. Thank God these guys are tough, because that thing will not stop bleeding at this point in time. strikes. He is aggressive to a fault and really has been all night long as he continues to pour it on. Got to be careful here, though, not to gas out. All right, let's go. Let's get those hands going now. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block. Ten seconds to go in the round. Oh, the round is over and blood is just fauceting out of this cheek. That cheek has gotten out of control. Cut man can only do so much. And given the fact that that cut continues to be attacked by the opponent, if this thing gets any worse, they're going to stop this fight. Well, what a round it was. And how about that flying Superman punch at the end of the round? Not a lot of fighters will try it. He did. He executed. And it worked, right? 
no discouragement from his opponent to make him not try it. Why not try it? It's working, so why not try it again? If his opponent isn't careful, he will get knocked out and be on a highlight reel for the rest of time. Oh, big elbow. Nice loop of punch. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Beautiful body to land right under the elbow. Now connects with the right. Caught the kick. It's such a fast leg kick. Oh man, head to land. Lee gets caught with that punch. Gotta shore up the defense here. Oh, and he lands another huge knee there as the taller fighter uses his length well yet again. Oh, massive kick lands flush. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. As he gets close and he's out of the kicking range, he'll he'll change his stance. Oh, kick home and now his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick he did not recognize it was coming high, and now he's got him hurt bad. Just over three minutes to go in round three. Three minutes remain in the round. Hey, he's off the oh! News hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Well, you've got to admire the urgency here. He is trying to keep the judges out of it. Lighten up his opponent left and right. Just unable to quite find that range. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie, and they separate. What a punch. Nice leg kick lands. Oh, beautiful head movements. You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such a toughness to even be on his feet right now. Back to the left hand now, unable to connect. Nice punch here. And just misses with that big right hand. Blocks the strike. Oh, man, that cut not in a good place. And it's not getting any better. And he caught the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. So both fighters here continuing to try to get a more dominant position. Nice job to raise the guard and block another strike there. He doesn't want the ringside position anywhere near this octagon. He has to understand that at any moment, if this thing goes down into the eye, the referee and the commission will have to stop the fight. Great job being aware, keeping the hands up and blocking, making sure to minimize the damage to that already cut eye. Oh, he continues to land a high number of strikes in this round. Really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. Certainly have to be mindful that you don't gas out, but you gotta like the output on display here. Let's get that Beautiful kick. He lands the right hand. There's no give on that leg kick. Final seconds of round three. Oh. 
That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship round. All right, so let us now check out some of the action in that round, DC. There was a whole lot of it, including a stunner upstairs that nearly closed the show. It was a lot of action. It was back and forth action, but the big moment was that big strike to the head that landed that put him on wobbly legs and in survival mode. Luckily, he made it to the end of that round. All right, next round is underway, and if you look at these two guys in between rounds, it looks like they've barely broken a sweat, both with good resting heart rate, stamina still very high, and you just have to laud the efforts of these guys in training. Both men certainly noted cardio specialists, but incredible that they would have this much in the tank after 10-plus minutes of fighting. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, no soda. It's one and done more often. Bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got to hurt very bad on his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Checks that leg kick. Keep your hands up for me. Come on now. Let's go. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Oh, beautiful right hook counter. Oh, looking to land the leg kick, but unable to find the target. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Nice job of hiding that head kick. All right, so he connects with another punch there, kind of targeting that cut, I think. I mean, when you get a cut on your opponent and you see it and it's pouring blood, you continue to attack it. Every time you land, you can see that it splits it a little bit more. Great job finding that weakness and really taking advantage of it. Oh, and he caught the kick. That's a big strike right there. Some fighters don't check a lot of leg kicks. That one was checked. Visibly limping here. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Just over two minutes to go in the round. He's loaded up that right hand, too. Oh, oh big nice knee there. Good punch. Look at the force behind that leg kick. to the jab now, no good. Lee's attempt there is blocked by the opponent. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Nice, sneaky head kick. Oh, he missed with that right hand. Just misses with the straight right. Lee gets hit with a kick here. That one landed flush. Let's see if he can make some adjustments. Back to his patented kicks here, but just out of range. Oh, 
huge block. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. We can win this round. I need you to get the takedown. Straight punch lands. Oh, he tagged him with the punch there, DC. That's an educated left hand. He's got great timing with his left hand. Good jab. Twenty minutes down, potentially five to go. All right, that horn signifies the end of the round. Let's take us through some replays, champ. And the replays are going to be kicks. That's the story of this fight to this point. He is landing these kicks at will, just driving his shin into his opponent's legs, and it's really starting to slow him down. All right, next round is underway, DC. We talked about his powerful kicks, how he attacks all sides of the body, the head, the legs. Pretty good start for him tonight. That was so impressive to see. Someone fight almost predominantly with their legs and have that level of success. Big kick land. Right hook to the head block. Continuing to work the body to great effect. Hit him first. Cable inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Ooh, big shot land. Oh, man, that cut looks terrible. He's bleeding like crazy. I wouldn't be surprised if they stopped the fight with that cut at some point. Big kick lands. Splits the guard, lands the right hand. Head kick. Oh, that straight punch was useful, champ. Multiple times he's used this punch to get to the target. And that one certainly found the target. You gotta move those feet for me, bro. You gotta move those feet. Yo, guys, work! Getting late in the fight, it has been all action to this point as we go down the wire. Could be anybody's fight. Anybody's fight. Both of these guys prepared very well for this competition, and it showed in such a tremendous fight. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Liver kick. Establish that jab once again. Oh, the Superman punch lands. You gotta dig deep here. I'm trying to kick the leg out. His hands are down. Let's set up that high kick. Two minutes now to go in the fight. in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Not there. Oh, big left hand there. Well, he's looking for that left hand just out of range, though, with it.
real quick leg kick. Oh, nice knee to the body for him there. Very nice. A little single collar tie there. And he connects there, DC. Great job landing that punch. Stand and cheer, ladies and gentlemen. What a fight. goes the distance as we await the judges scorecards but certainly a dominant striking effort out of that fighter tonight john he used his best weapons in order to carry him to a decision a very clear decision in my opinion a great performance tonight by this young fighter Looks like the official decision is in. Yes, here's Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the contest. 48-47. Played the winner by unanimous decision, Bruce the Dragon Lee. All right, so the judges are in agreement tonight. He is your winner by unanimous decision, certainly pretty easy fight to score, I thought. Yeah, I thought it was an easy fight to score. Whereas his opponent had a few moments, he was the one that truly did lead all the interactions. He's the person.